to the first night in Monte Carlo. We actually came this morning, but we were absolutely shattered. Daddy! Um, so we just chilled out all day. We actually had a bit of a nap, um, and then refreshed ourselves, and now we're out for the evening. So we're in a place called Gaia. It's absolutely beautiful. Me and Jack actually came here, was it two years ago we came here? Exactly, yeah. About two years ago, before we had Mila, so it feels so weird to be back, but to be back. Um, and we're in a Greek restaurant tonight. I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So pretty. Mila, where are we? Yeah. Hi. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I'll obviously show you more of Monaco whilst we're here and as we go outside, etc. So yeah, I really hope you guys look forward to this vlog and I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. So we have some appetizers that have just arrived. This bread is actually insane, it's so tasty. And then we've got some dips there. Mila's sucking into some bread as well. Oh, do you want a vlog? Oh, well done! <laughs> starter has arrived, he ordered octopus. It's not very, it's not for me, but Jack can sit there and enjoy it. I, I just, I'm not keen on octopus to be honest. Let me know if you've tried it. I've tried it before. It does taste a bit like chicken, but I think it's just the thought of it, knowing it's octopus, just puts me off. But you love it, don't you? Yeah, very Mediterranean, I love it. Like a Greek style. Yeah, let me know if you've tried it. I'm so sorry, but I had already tucked in a bit and I totally forgot to show you my main. So me and Mila actually are sharing um, lemon half chicken with some rice. She's enjoying hers. Hi! She loves the camera. Um, and I'm enjoying mine and then I've got like a passion fruit drink. It's really nice. Jack's got his wine and a risotto. Is it a veggie risotto? Seafood risotto. Oh, seafood. Corns and clams and nice. squid. Yeah, it's such a cool vibe in here as well, like really nice. Guys, how beautiful is this view? So pretty here. The casino over there. <laughs> okay, so we've just taken a walk down, so we're overlooking the harbour, which is, that, which is just down there. Literally, everywhere we walk, it just looks so pretty. I just think it's so... And literally over there is ice cream, which we're gonna get in a second. We was on the hunt for ice cream because we both really fancy it. But it's just so pretty. Last time we came to Monaco, we actually stayed in this hotel there, which is honestly probably the, one of the best hotels I've ever stayed in. It's just, oh, it was, it's so nice, yeah. isn't it? Really nice. Um, this we're time, gonna have dinner there and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we've got dinner booked there on Saturday night which would be really nice. Jack's parents are coming out tomorrow, so they're going to be with us on this holiday as well. We're staying in the Fairmont, which is also really lovely as well. It has a Nikki Beach pop-up. It does so have a nice Nikki It does. It has a Nikki Beach um, area, I guess, at the top, which is where the pool is. Really nice, good food. We had some lunch there today, which was really tasty as well. Mila's slowly, slowly getting a little bit tired, um, so we'll probably shortly head back. But it's just so nice. Very warm during the day, but it's so nice because in the evening you get such a nice breeze. By the sea, isn't it? Yeah. Should we get some ice cream? Yeah. Yum. Ready meals? Good. He's ready. Yummy! <laughs> Let me do it. Or do you want to do it yourself? Good girl. That's yummy. Right guys, we've just got some ice cream. It's actually really tasty. Went for chocolate and vanilla. Is it yummy? Like me. Me do it. Good girl. Yummy. 
so it is actually the next day. We have been down for breakfast. It was our first time going down for breakfast, so that's why I didn't bring you guys along, but I'll bring you tomorrow, just because obviously I wanted to get a feel for what it was like. Um, but we are going to the pool, but we do need to quickly nip to the shop first, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm wearing this swimming costume, which I'll show you properly. Um, when I don't have this skirt on, but basically, swim costume, open, and then, you know, like, normal bottoms. And then I have this skirt on, just popped on. This is from Zara. And then I have my shoes. And then I have no makeup on because I'm gonna let my skin breathe and hopefully it will help my skin. So we're just walking downstairs now and I thought I would show you what the hallway looks like. I said to Jack, I feel like I'm on a cruise. It gives me cruise vibes. Hello. Hello, madam. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then I'll show you downstairs in the lobby and obviously the pool, etc. So you can see in the left. What do they have? No boo here. Yeah. They have no boo here, guys. And they've just opened the beach as well. Oh yeah, and they've just opened the beach. Normally they just have Nikki Beach upstairs, but they now have a beach on the beach. So cool. <laughs> That's where we had breakfast. And that's Nikki Beach, which is where the pool is, which is so pretty. All with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next This or that Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night But drinking well I'm by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the train to catch a Okay, so it is now the evening and we've got changed and ready <laughs> got ready for this evening I just had this black dress on which is from Zara I actually wore this in white um, when I was in LA I'll actually pop a picture up on the screen and I loved it saw the black one I think it was in the sale actually so I thought it'd be oh wasp um, perfect to get the black as well because I literally loved the white one but um, what I'll do if they're still online I'll link them down below as well because I feel like they're a good little staple to have in the wardrobe and then I just put like a little lacy bralette underneath as well. Now walking to dinner, we're going to a place called Maya Bay. I don't think anybody vlogs around here because there's people are watching me. But yeah, now going to a place called Maya Bay. We went here last time we came as well. Absolutely delicious. It was like Asian style food. So we had sushi which was yummy. So I'm going to get that again this time. So funny. People keep watching. But yeah, I guess I'll show you guys when we get to the restaurant. So excited and I'm so hungry. Guys, how cool is this car? That you just pulled up. If you're a Batman fan, I think you'll like this car. Insane. day after I took a day off yesterday just kind of had a chilled one really um, spent the day by the pool and then we went out for dinner um, I thought I'd bring you guys out with us today we're now on our way to breakfast it's half nine we're all ready for some breakfast and I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like down there but yeah I think I'm gonna go with pancakes pancakes <laughs> they're at school pancake machine isn't it huh it's like a, a really cool pancake yeah machine. Maybe you'll be able to show them, but it's like oh, really right. fresh. Mm. And I love pancakes. If you know me, you know I literally love pancakes. Mila, what are you having for breakfast? Are you going to have an omelette? Are you going to have a croissant? 
Uh, you can have a watermelon. <laughs> Leave that. Look at her tired eyes. She actually slept really well. <laughs> she go and get a croissant whilst we're waiting for your omelette. Jack said he's going to go and get some pancakes for us. Do you want to go and show the um, breakfast? The breakfast is just there. It's, it's actually really nice. It's got plenty of options. You've got like fruit this side, um, fruit that side, hot food over there, pancakes and bread in that corner. Jack will show you. This is the pancake machine. It starts making them fresh. And then it just drops out of there and then eventually there you go, drops out of there. And just goes down there, warms up, and then voila. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a nice view Hi guys, so we have got back to the room, just freshened ourselves up, sorted ourselves out for the day and we've decided we're going to go for a bit of a walk and we're going to go and hunt for a park for Mila. So that is the plan for today, then later on we're going to go in the swimming pool. She's got this. It's inflatable that we ordered off of Amazon and she loves it, highly recommend, I'll link it down below for you guys. If you're on the hunt, because as you can hear, it's like little balls in there, she like looks for them. Um, but I thought I would show you guys my outfit. Sorry, the lighting's gone a bit weird. I'm wearing this All Neutrals Bralette. I believe this is actually in the sale at the moment. I think it's like five pounds. Such good quality, it's really thick and we do it in a few different colors. Also very perfect for holiday, for the hot weather. Um, I'm also, I've paired it with this skirt which is from Zara. Really like this as well. Really hard to pair, I'm not gonna lie. Like I really struggled. I feel like this would look really nice as a cover up with um, a bikini top as well, but kind of got it as like a little day outfit and then I've just got my black Hermes sandals hair in a bun because it's absolutely boiling and yeah this is my outfit Jack's wearing a white t-shirt white shorts and your trainers <laughs> creamy whites <laughs> I thought I would actually tell you my go-to lip combo at the moment, which I'm obsessed with. So I always wear strip down, obsessed with this. I kind of always use this. It's just the kind of shade that I like. It's a bit of a brownie nude. Love this. Definitely recommend that. But I've got a new one. This is the Hourglass. I think it's a new lip gloss that they've come out with in the shade Mist. And this is what it looks like. I think it's such a nice combo. Very glossy, doesn't make my lips dry. I do suffer with a bit of dry lips, but it's actually perfect. It's so moisturizing. So I'll link this down below for you guys because this is defo my new combo that I'll be wearing all the time. Right, let's go. Hi guys, so we have actually just come into a different hotel just to get away from the sun for a bit because it's actually really hot. And also me was just napping, so we thought we'd come inside there's a bit of aircon. We've just sat down and I've ordered a Sprite. And Jack went for a, what did you get, iced coffee? Yeah. Iced coffee. And we're just chilling. Reminiscing. We stayed here last time we came here. It's honestly such a pretty hotel. Really lovely. We'll show you guys what we can see. So cute. <laughs> Mila's body. And this hotel is called Hotel de Bahi. <laughs> so pretty. And it looks out to such a beautiful kind of... Yeah. But yeah, enjoying these. Little snacky bits. And just people watching. Where should we go for lunch? Should we go opposite? Opposite? Go Cafe de Paris. Can do. They do like nice like mm. sandwiches. And yeah. Stuff. Mm, let's do that. When Mila wakes up. Obviously, we're going to take it to the park. It's just so hot right now, so we're just waiting for it to cool down. And also, obviously, wait for her to wake up from her nap, have some lunch, and then we'll probably head to the park. And then we're going to all want to jump in the pool because it's a beautiful day for it. And Mila loves being in the pool. It's her favourite thing to do on holiday, so yeah. we're going to go to the pool. When we leave here on Monday, we are going to San Tropez. Yes, which will be really fun. We thought, seeing as we're here in Monaco, because we're quite close by. Yeah, about two hours drive, and it just it's a different part of France as well. And yeah, I've always wanted to go. I actually have seen that Grace and Grace there at the moment, and it looks stunning. So they give me all the inspo before I head over there, because it just looks so pretty, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. she's from Made in Chelsea. 
What's her name? Victoria. Interesting Victoria. <coughs> she must be staying here, she's got work coffee. Um, yes, yeah, so we're heading there on Monday for three days and then we're heading back. Thursday, yeah. Home. But yes, when she's got some things to do now. Yeah. Don't you pay? Just, I think we should nice... just wing it. Yeah. Or do you have to book? Um, I mean, you probably can wing it, but there's some nice little places that I want to go to. Like, there's a few like beach clubs which are chilled as well. Yeah. And um, somewhere where there's a pool for me now, because I mean, I just want to be in the yeah. pool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're staying in an apartment. It's the first time we've actually done an Airbnb. Yeah, we're right? going to an Airbnb apartment, which will because be nice because we'll just have our own space. It's you have to book six months in advance to go to Santa Fe, literally because it's just a small place and there's not many hotels and literally. When we planned San Jose, there was no hotel available. They were all okay. kind of a few miles out, and obviously with having a brown, we wanted to be very central. So a bit more closer, yeah. we thought we'd try Airbnb. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I know it looks. I'm nice. looking forward to it. I've always wanted to go. So the problem so I've many... got now though is on the first day because it's an Airbnb, we have to finish at ten in the morning. We have to check out at ten in the morning, and we have and all our, our flight and our flight's not until, until the ten. Evening. And we have all our luggage, so I'm just trying you to see if there's. Tell me that. I'm trying to see if there's any like luggage storage places oh, no, in San Tropez. We've got a lot of luggage as well. Yeah, we've got three. Wait, they won't let us check out later. Well, no, because they've got a booking straight after, so they've got to clean around right. and then yeah. So I'm just looking at luggage storage, hopefully with a nearby hotel. Just I don't know. yeah. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm sure we'll figure that out. But yeah, we're just going to chill until Mina wakes up, then go grab some lunch. And yeah, just chill. Guys, look at that bite on my hand. Oh, it's actually a bit swollen. <laughs> it looks really weird. Look at that, Jack. Yeah. Doesn't it look odd? Is that normal? Yeah, no, I've had it on my knuckle before. But look, it's really like, swollen. Yeah, it will go. We've both been bit. I've got loads on my legs. Jack's been bit on his legs, and I've been bit. Do you want to think how? I'm thinking is it when we walk along the beach? In the I evening, think he was coming you know, home. Yeah. yeah. God, it's so itchy, and I'm trying to not itch it. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride A new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it Somewhere I can find myself So just had lunch and we've come back to the room because it's absolutely it's a hot one today so I think the park's out of question today because it's just way too hot and I don't think it's gonna be suitable for Mila so what we're gonna do we've realized the coolest time is first thing in the morning so we're gonna have breakfast quite early tomorrow and then go straight after what are you doing and take her to the park then um, I've got this swimming costume on. The swimming costume is from Zara. It's kind of strapless, really like it. I've also got it in like a yellowy, mustardy kind of shade. I'm sure you'll see it. Um, and then I've just chucked this kind of over shirt, which is from H&M. But yeah, we're gonna head to the pool because I think it's probably the coolest thing to do apart from staying in this room. So we're gonna spend maybe an hour, then come back, chill out here. Um, and then get ready to go out a little bit later. So it should be fun. I'll try and vlog, but it's very busy today downstairs, but I'll try and get some little content of her in the pool because it's just so cute. Isn't it Mills? Do you want to see her little outfit? Mila, you want to show me your outfit? Wow, you look pretty. So we got up a little bit earlier this morning and headed down for breakfast um, and we're on our way out already now to the park. We decided to get up a little bit earlier to be able to get out before it gets really hot. Um, so we're literally now walking down towards the port and hopefully the park's not going to be too busy and Mila can go and have some fun. So that's where we're heading to now. It's another beautiful day already to be honest. 
I can't get over how warm it is. Like, I expected it to be warm, but probably not this warm, but it is lovely. It's what I can see right now. So we're heading down there, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, heading down there. But yeah. And there's me. I'm wearing some shorts from Zara. And my top's also from Zara, I'll show you guys. Really pretty top and some shorts. So we have the aircon on. Whenever I see the aircon, I wake up with a sore throat, so won't be doing that again. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice to see like different areas of like um, Monte Carlo as well because we're just in the square like up the top. So coming down here looks a little different. Some shops, it's a cute little side street. And now we've got a long walk all the way back up a hill. <laughs> Wish us luck. Guys, so it's actually a little while later. Um, after we went to the park, I was literally at the pool for a little while and I then started to feel really sleepy and tired. Like, we walked so much today, to be honest. And I needed a nap, so I had a long nap. <laughs> so did Mila. And now it's a little while later and we've come to Buddha Bar. Um, I really like Buddha Bar actually. They do some of the best food I've ever had. Like, it's just so tasty. Um, but yeah, we ordered some food for Mills. <laughs> Her hair's crazy. She was wearing a coat, but taking it off. Um, but yeah, we'll show you guys the food when it arrives. My favourite has arrived. This is the chicken salad. It's honestly so, so yummy. <laughs> Fun tucked in already, so sorry. Um, got some sushi as well. More coming as well, which is honestly just delicious. But this is my favourite. I feel like the last you saw was me and Buddha Bar. Well, that ended very quickly and we ended up coming home because I don't feel well. <laughs> so we actually slept with the aircon on the other night and I personally hate sleeping with the aircon on. But Mills, Mrs. Mills and Jack over here, both are sweaty people and they get hot, so they like sleep with the aircon. I was like, right, that's fine, let's put the aircon on. Put the aircon on, I woke up with a cold. So now I have a cold and I feel super rough, so great. But yeah, I feel awful. I've just got basically out, I've got a cold, but I feel a bit bunged up. You might even be able to hear in my voice. My throat's super sore and my nose. Um, this is why I, I hate aircon. Does anyone else get that? Sleep with aircon and then you get a cold because these two are fine, I'm not. But anyways, um, we're going to try and film all day today, just because yesterday got cut short. Um, it's Saturday. Uh, we've got Saturday, what, tomorrow, and then we leave here Monday to go to Saint-Tropez, which will be super fun. So hopefully I'm feeling a bit more normal by that point. Um, but I'm okay. It's just, yeah, a bit bunged up. I'll keep away from Mills. I'm going to let Jack look after her now, because I don't want her getting a little cold whilst we're away. Um, yeah, we're now going to head down for breakfast, my favourite time of the day. Out of every single meal on holiday, I just love breakfast. Your, I think your dinner, aren't you? On holiday, what's your favourite meal? Dinner. Dinner. Mine and Mila's is breakfast. She loves breakfast and I love breakfast. We like dinner and lunch, but we, I, I can tell she loves breakfast and so do I. So, yeah. I've just realised I've not shown you our room. I'll show you our room at some point, maybe when we get back, um, so you can see as well. But, yeah, 
yeah, let's head down to breakfast. I'm gonna bring you guys along. You might not want to, but I'm gonna bring you anyway. And yeah, Josh is patiently waiting for me on the side, like, hurry up. You have to book breakfast here, which is really weird. It's because it's a very busy hotel. Right, Mills, you ready? Gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. 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 Well, she had watermelon as well, but you can always just change her. The thing with Mila is she always needs to be holding something, i.e. the spoon, to eat. If I take that spoon off her, she won't eat. <laughs> and this is what I've ordered. Mmm, watermelon. Hi, guys. So it's actually a little while later. Today we just kind of spent the day, honestly, just chilling. We had some lunch and then came back to the room and we was all just relaxing really so there was not much to film but we're actually getting ready now to go out and I thought I'd do a little bit of a get ready with me so I sort of straightened my hair but I've kind of got to go over it because there's still some kinks it was like a quick straighten I'm feeling a bit better now which is good um so I guess the resting helped but anyways I am gonna do I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys I always use this um boots own actually hyaluronic acid moisturizer I really like this makes my skin feel so moisturised. I would love to put so much more on than this because it makes my skin so like oh, moisturised. But obviously you don't want to overdo it. So I literally just blend that into my skin. That. I'm not going to make this too long because I don't want to bore you guys, but I do always get asked what kind of makeup do I use on holiday. So I thought I'd show you guys. So sometimes um, on my base, I actually do the Hollywood Flawless Filter as well, usually in the shade five, but I'm not gonna do it today. I'm not in the mood for kind of glowy because I think this will give me enough glow from the moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go straight in with this um, beautiful skin foundation, which is from Charlotte Tilbury. This kind of gives you a glowy um, look as well, which is good. I'm having to step really far back because I have not much to balance this camera on. <laughs> so I have to come really far away from the mirror. So I might have to keep stepping forward as well. But simply just going to blow this into my skin. The mirror is right behind you. So if I'm looking up there, that's why. But yeah, I love this. Um, when I'm a little bit more tanned, I use the shade 8. And then when I'm not as tanned, I think I need five or six, it literally depends. I can't really remember which one it is for definite, but it's between the two. And my neck never tans. Does anyone else's neck tan? I then go with my bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. Nothing kind of um, converted me from Give Me Sun MAC until I tried this and now I love this so much. I do miss MAC though, I might have to give that a go again as well because it, it's been a while so i'm literally just going to put that over my cheeks and my forehead as well and then i kind of just brush it over my nose jawline and then down my neck don't really do it too heavy i mean some of you guys might think it's heavy i'm not really sure but this isn't too heavy for me because i can still see my um spots and stuff coming through but i actually don't mind that because um, I just hate nothing more than feeling really heavy. You know when you go out and it's really like muggy and hot, even though it's cooler in the evening, you still feel that, feel that heat. I just hate it when my makeup feels too much. So I kind of go in a little bit more with the bronzer rather than the foundation. I'm going to just wipe off my foundation that may have gone onto my lips. What I might do is just spray a little bit of this Fix Plus, this is in the rose, just spray it all over my face. And then just get my beauty blender and then dab it all in. And this kind of just brings back a little bit of moisture from just putting on 
the bronzer. Just, I don't know, I just like it to be honest. It just makes my skin feel nice and fresh and a little chewy. Just like that. I'm going to put a little bit of powder on. I don't always put powder on, but I'm going to just put a little bit today. Um, this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two medium. And I'm just going to do it like a long way, Tizo really. So like on here, maybe a little bit under the eye. Chin. Okay, literally that is all I tend to do in my makeup. Like I said, sometimes I do put the flawless filter over the top or underneath as well, but today I'm not really in the mood for it. And then my lip combo, I've got my lip combo here. So like I said, it's the Strip Down by MAC. So I'm just gonna pop that on. Lip gloss is Bow Glass in the shade Mist, if I can get in it. And it's honestly that perfect kind of peachy mood shade with a slight gloss to it. And I just love it. Actually, it's not even a slight gloss, it's a good gloss. So very glossy. And that is literally what I do for my makeup on holiday and to be honest, at home as well. It's just what I've been loving doing at the moment. And yeah, what I'll do is I'll leave everything that I've used on my face um, down below just in case you guys want to shop it. Highly recommend. I was going to say this lip, but to be honest, I highly recommend everything that I've just used. I've been using it for so long. I'm obsessed with it. I also will link um, the Flawless Filter just because if you haven't used this yet, definitely use it. If you like that dewy, glowy look, you would love this. And yeah, this one's in the shade 5, but... I love it. So I'm going to go put my outfit on. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Straighten over my hair. And I guess we'll be heading out the door. I've got my dress on. It's a really cute dress. Oh, can you see? It's blowing. You probably can't. You'll see within the vlog. But it's so pretty. I literally love this. I was saying today that I wish that the sleeves in a way wasn't on it. And that maybe if I wear it like this once. I don't know if you can see the skater. It's a skater skirt. Um, I might take these bits off and wear it as a different style dress. Ryan's in the toilet here. Can you see? If you can't, I'm sorry, you'll probably see within, within the vlog. Um, but I just think as well, without the sleeves, this would look so cute as well. Like as a, the same dress but different after you've worn it like this, if you want to wear it without the sleeves as well. But then you won't be able to have the sleeves back. But I actually think I would prefer it without the sleeves. But for now, this looks really cute. But because I've got all my collarbone in now, I thought I would actually put some flawless filter. Lols, come here, I need to tuck all these in. Um, I love my collarbone and my shoulders because I really like the look of it looking really nice and glowy. That's what I'm going to do. So I've just popped a bit there, as you can see. And then blend that in. If you need to, just to help, just spray your um, beauty blender as well. Kind of gives it a bit more of a glow. On this side, and then the shoulder. Perfume of choice, I'm going to go with my evening scent. So I brought two perfumes out, I don't know if I showed you guys. Estee Lauder, I brought this as my day scent, and this is Bronze Goddess, basically nearly finished now. So. I might have to repurchase this one because it's honestly the perfect summer scent. I might wait till next year now just because I'm going to say summer's over nearly, but it's, it's really not. I do have um, other ones that I could be using. And then I love this one for an evening scent. Usually with my perfumes, a certain scent reminds me of different holidays. This one actually reminds me of Paris. Um, that one actually, nowhere. So right now it could actually remind me of Monaco. But I have certain ones that remind me of different places. Like, I have one that reminds me of Dubai. I'm sure, like, some of you guys know what I mean. You might have that as well. But this one just smells, honestly, so sophisticated, so womanly. Just, oh, you know, you just, someone's walking, like, a woman walks past you and then you get a whiff of some perfume and it smells so nice. I feel like this is what she, I feel like Victoria Beckham would smell like this. <laughs> I don't know. Um... But yeah, and then I'm going to cream my legs. 
So they're nicely moisturised. Everything that I'm using, don't worry guys, I'm going to pop it down below. But I love this. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum. I actually really want to try the pink, the lighter pink. I think there's two pinks. The lighter pink, because that smells insane as well. My little sisters have that. Literally, get me and Zaya into everything. So I'm just going to cream my legs with this. Oh, my legs definitely could do with a shave. <laughs> you know, you get little hairs starting to grow back. Yeah, that's me at the moment. I don't really like burnt or anything this holiday, which is good, but to be honest, not really been too much in the sun, which you, should, you just don't really want to, especially when you have a baby. It's just, I'd rather not. I'd rather just have fun with meals and the pool and stuff. Like, I can't be asked to tan nowadays. <laughs> right, I'm all ready to go, so all that's left to do is get me ready, get my shoes on and stuff, and I'll show you my full outfit when I'm done. And I guess we'll see you guys out for dinner. I'm going to a place called The Grill, which will be lovely. Got really nice views um, looking out, because I think we went last, last time we came here. Which, oh my god, yeah we did, and me and Jack got this picture, we look like babies, I'm going to put it on screen here. So cute. Um, so yeah, we're going there. So it should be fun, we're meeting up with Jack's parents. And yeah, right, I'll see you guys when I'm out because I need to get little madam sorted now. Coming in it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right guys, so we've just got back. Didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. And I thought, here would be the perfect place to end this vlog because we've got one more day tomorrow probably just have a bit of a pool day um, and then we're actually going to a really exciting evening to watch an orchestra which should be fun, different um, we got invited by Jack's friend so, oh, what's wrong? You are you trying to show everyone your dolly? it's in the uh, prince's gardens it's in the prince's well, gardens courtyard, which is within the castle so that's really cool, but apparently you can't take cameras, so I wouldn't be able to show you guys that anyway. And this one, for, for one night only, is going to be with her nanny and granddad until we get back, and then you can come back with mummy. So that's just tomorrow evening, um, and then we'll probably just have a chill one, and there's no point me just bringing you guys to the pool. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Monaco vlog. It was super fun. Um, it's going to be lovely to look back on as well, especially for this little sod. Uh, yeah, climbing all over uh, me. Uh, I'm not a climbing frame. And you need to go to bed, missus. Right, so I am going to end the, the vlog here. I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. This one's come to say hello. <laughs> We've got Jack running around, making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly Nanny! What is he doing? <laughs> right, we'll see you guys in my next one. Maybe, maybe not, I'm going to see. Um, but we're actually going to start to pay for three days. So I may vlog that as well. So hopefully you'll see that coming out soon. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in my next. Bye-bye.